NIF is a unique place to work because it's the world's largest laser. We have 192 laser beams that can achieve thermonuclear fusion. There's only one in the world, and this is NIF. NIF's mission is threefold. Its primary mission is for the stockpile stewardship program so that we can maintain a safe and reliable stockpile. We can also do astrophysics experiments and uh, unlock the secrets of the universe. The third one is, is the fact that we can uh, look at nuclear fusion as a clean energy source. Our team initially started using Splunk as a security tool. So the first thing that we did is we brought in network data, authentication data, host data, and analyze it for security. And what we found is that not only did it solve that problem, but we wanted more. So we started bringing other sources in, such as application data. So by monitoring the applications, we're able to avoid any kind of unscheduled downtime or slowness so that we have higher availability of the NIF facility for the scientists. A shot is an experiment that gives our scientists the ability to explore new frontiers in astrophysics, in material science, and in nuclear science. Because scientists can wait up to three years to run their experiment on the NIF, it's very important that we're able to make sure that when they're here, when they're ready to do a shot, all systems are go. And IT certainly doesn't want to be the reason for why they can't perform that experiment. The National Ignition Facility has over 66,000 control points, and that's a lot for a control system to manage. It's also a lot of applications that support this infrastructure. Some of these things that you see behind me are thermometers that have IT attached to it. Each of those things is giving us some critical information about how the whole ecosystem is doing. We're using the Splunk Machine Learning Toolkit to identify which devices out there may be unhappy. And because we're able to look at that pattern over time, very quickly we're able to see anomalies. We're able to forecast and be able to address those issues before they became problems. ITSI gives us an opportunity to actually take a very complex machine and break it down into very discrete components. And so everybody has an understanding of using the same data set. Previously, an AI ops approach would have taken a lot of manpower, and this is the first time that we can actually simplify that technology for an IT base to actually apply that to an infrastructure. A tool like Splunk empowers end users to be able to all make them data scientists because there's so many different data lakes of information accessible by one tool and the query language is so easy to access. Users can query information out of Splunk at the speed of thought. We have a very small team, but we're very efficient. And we do what I think is a great job in using data and architecture and vendors to all come together to deliver a product that NIF can be satisfied with.